boys and girls, it's Thursday. I hope you've had a great week. Today, we celebrate the little flower, St. Therese of Lisieux. And St. Therese was only 15 when she entered religious life. And she died from illness when she was just 24. She just had a very short life. But she followed what became known as the little way, which is to live her life doing every small and ordinary act for the love of God. So let's think about St. Therese today as we start our prayer. Start in the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Think about this silently in your heart. How can we do ordinary, simple things like washing dishes, feeding our pets, cleaning up our room in a way that shows we love God? Oh, loving God, our Father, help us to live and serve with joyful and loving hearts and to follow the little way of St. Therese. In the name of the Father, the Hijo, and the Spirit of the Amen. Padre nuestro, que estás en el cielo, santificado sea tu nombre. Venga a nosotros tu reino, hagas tu voluntad en la tierra como en el cielo. Danos hoy nuestro pan de cada día y perdona nuestras ofensas como también nosotros perdonamos a los que se nos ofenden. No nos dejes caer en la tentación y líbranos del mal. Amén. Hombre del Padre, del Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Boys and girls, it's a special day today. Today we celebrate the Mid-Autumn Festival, or the Moon Festival, and our Mandarin Strand is busy doing all sorts of projects and learning about the traditions in this holiday that's just second to the Chinese New Year. So it's a really special occasion, and we have Miss Wong who's going to tell us a little bit about it. Dear friends, Happy Moon Festival! The Moon Festival, Zhong Qiu Jie, is also known as the Mid-Autumn Festival. It falls on the fifth day of August in the lunar calendar. This year, Zhong Qiu Jie will be on this Thursday. On the evening of the Moon Festival, the moon is at its largest and the brightest. It is a full moon. The full moon symbolizes reunion in Chinese culture. So family will get together and enjoy the sight of the full moon while eating mooncakes. The most special food for Mid Autumn Festival must be the mooncake. Have you ever tried it? The traditional mooncake is round like the moon. So please give it a try if you have a chance. The Moon Festival, it is also celebrated in China, South Korea, Japan, Singapore, Vietnam, Cambodia, Malaysia, Indonesia, and many other countries. Please join us and celebrate the Moon Festival together. Pray for good fortune and the house. Thank you so much for your time and the Happy Moon Festival. And we have birthdays today. So today is Jadu Galde's birthday in fourth Spanish. And tomorrow, because we have our drive through blessing, we are going to um, talk about the birthdays we have tomorrow and Sunday. And that's Reagan Palomino in K Spanish and Sienna Garrison in seventh Spanish. So Jade. Reagan and Sienna, I hope you have a wonderful birthday and we're sending you virtual high fives. Tomorrow, boys and girls, is our drive-through pet blessing. And why do we have a pet blessing? Because we are celebrating the life of St. Francis of Assisi, who loved 
and cared for creation and saw God in all living things. So a tradition in the church is to have your pet or animal blessed in honor of the Feast of St. Francis. And the Feast of St. Francis is this Sunday, October 4th. So we hope to see you tomorrow. And if you cannot make it, do not worry. We will post a video um, of the celebration. Uh, we won't have our normal sing-along at 10 a.m. because we will be having the drive through blessing. And don't forget, you don't have to have a pet. You can have a picture of a pet. You can uh, bring your favorite stuffed animal. Uh, we just welcome, or you can just come yourself to get a blessing from Father Patrick. But we look forward to seeing you there. And if you 我们难怪注意安全